Hi guys, it is now January and um, I figured I'd show you one of my Christmas prints I got because I haven't actually managed to unbox it yet. Not as much unboxing to do, but this is what I got for Christmas. That is the DC Multiverse Bane McFarlane series. Um, I, I've always loved this character. It's one of my favourite Batman villains. Like next to the Joker, probably my next favourite villain. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a little unbox and see what it's about. So first of all, who is Bane? Well, my first introduction to Bane was from this. I got a job lot of comics, rare ones. So I was big into comic book collecting when I was younger. And I um, got this signed by uh, Chuck Dixon and Nolan, the people that created Bane. Um, and this was my first sort of like look into this character. Now this one here, The Vengeance of Bane. Is sort of his origin story of where his character came from. Batman is only in it right at the very end to sort of give you sort of a glimpse of how the sort of rivalry is going to go. And it led into this storyline, this Nightfall storyline, which is probably the greatest Batman story ever told. I swear this it was this story is just fantastic. So basically, the character of Bane starts off that a mum gives birth in prison, and according to I think it's like Puerto Rico, somewhere like that. And according to the laws of that um, country, that if the father can't be tried, the son will be. So the mum is kept in prison in custody, and then she's um, when she gives birth, obviously she raises the kid as a baby in prison until the mother is like murdered in the prison, and then um, because the child is sort of left on his own, he then has to sort of like fend for himself in this prison. A couple of people sort of help him along the way, sort of become like Bane, sort of like henchmen eventually. But as a child in prison, he sort of like, you can see he's going to get picked on, he's going to get like abused and like hurt and stuff. But he actually ends up becoming stronger and he gets stronger and stronger and trains himself in prison. And he ends up sort of like killing one of the guys that's going to sort of like abuse him in the prison. And they put him in solitary for like years and years and years. And while he's in solitary, he sort of like trains his body to become like physically strong. And then he becomes sort of like, when he sort of gets out of solitary, he's this like tougher sort of, kid but he sort of like gets more and more stronger as it goes on and just ends up sort of like ruling the prison sort of so he gets that sort of powerful in the prison he ends up ruling it but the thing he does he doesn't just train his body he trains his mind so he starts to read every book he can find he sort of gets in with sort of a really clever guy sort of, i think they call him zombie who's like a really intelligent sort of guy he gets in with a guy called the bird who's like a sort of like bird man of alcatraz type he's very very clever when it comes to sort of like um cunning sort of clever and he gets him with another guy called troll i think he's called and he's sort of a sort of like a tech guy and bane learns from them and he keep continues to educate himself so he becomes super smart and obviously being raised in a prison he only knows prison ways so then eventually what happens is they start experimenting on the prisoners because this isn't like a normal sort of prison this is a nasty prison they start experimenting on the prisoners to sort of like make like a super soldier i suppose and bane ends up like being a test subject and you think he they think he's dead because everyone that's having this test is dead but Bane because he's so physically fit and physically strong he actually survives it comes back and sort of breaks his friends out of the prison and sort of escapes the prison but because Bane only knows prison life he feels the whole world is like a giant prison and he finds out from his friends that he, about Gotham City and Gotham City sort of like is one big giant prison and the person in charge of Gotham City according to like the, the people that's sort of been there, is the Batman. So, of course, in prison, if you want to be the top dog, you have to take out the top guy. So that leads us on to this story, where which is the best story I've ever read of a, in a comic, basically. And that is that Bane, using his brain, works out that the best way to defeat Batman is to let out every single Arkham prisoner so everyone Batman's put away, he lets them out, he lets them all escape, and he uses the Joker as like the first one to escape because he knows that he will start the riot. And yeah, it goes on from there. Then Batman's got to try and defeat them all, and eventually leads to Bane actually beating Batman, being the first sort of person to actually break him and beat him. He breaks him both physically and mentally. It's such a fantastic story, and it goes on and on from there. And if you haven't read it, I suggest you go and read it. If you're a Batman fan, read that story because it is literally the best Batman story I think I've ever read and I've never read another one since that's been better um, that is definitely my favourite Batman story of all time anyway on with the unboxing so here is Bane 
in the multi DC Multiverse figures. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one I wanted. They did release like a different version of Bane as a builder figure, but I didn't like the look of it. It didn't look like Bane as I know. It's from a random sort of story that they'd done. That Bane looked very, very different. A like futurist sort of Elseworlds story. But this is the Bane that I've been waiting for. Now, as you can see, once we unbox him, I don't think he's going to look much different out of the box than he does in the box because it's, there's not really much to sort of like add on to him. He's just sort of that. But he's colossal. He's a huge figure. Right, so I'm going to unbox him now. I see, so this is a big figure, so I'm going to sort of cut here. Now, a lot of people sort of like don't like to unbox them, like to keep them in boxes. I like to unbox them. I like them on display. I know it brings the value down or whatever. I do keep the boxes though, so if I ever did want to sell them on in the future, I can sell them sort of like bin displayed, but here's the box as well. But yeah, it does, as soon as you do this, it instantly decreases the value of it in the future. But I don't care, because I like to have them on display. There's people out there now screaming, because there are serious people that sort of scream when you finally unbox things. Obviously in there is the little card that you can collect and the little foot stand. I don't think he's going to need one. He's so huge. I don't think he's going to need a foot stand. There's again. That's trying to get him out of this thing. Wow, they've really done a job on the tyres here. Look at that. They've literally knotted him in. Look. We've got 500 tyres. Always want to escape and break out. There we go. Didn't take much to undo, is it? And you've got the weird stretchy one that will just snap a little bit. Give them a tug. I don't know if he's got any I think that's him free. Let's have a look. See that there, that they, what they've done there, they tuck the hand in the plastic, and that's quite hard to get out. Oh no, it actually wasn't as hard as all. I'm fibbing. Wow, that's, that's got some weight to it. So there he is. There is Bane in his glory. So here is Bane out of the box, and he is epically huge. I mean, look at the size of his blinking arms. Look, that's my thumb compared to his arms. Look at that. But I'll tell you what, the detail on this guy is insane. I mean, just, I don't know if you, I'm trying to look, look at that on the mask. You see the textures on that mask. The, I mean, the, the best bit about it is the clothing. I mean, look at the texture on that. That is proper military style like clips and stuff, and that looks absolutely fantastic obviously Bane was played by Tom Hardy in The Dark Knight Rises which was a good version of Bane but still wasn't perfect they've never done a comic accurate Bane that was it was good it was a good version he had a weird voice in it a really weird voice I don't know why he chose to do that but it kind of worked with what they were doing and it kind of gave us a really great cinematic character but it's still not Bane like they did it in the obviously the Batman and Robin cartoon is definitely not Bane what they did there I have no idea what they were doing with that it was like a just random henchman I said Bane is very very intelligent and the fact they made him this sort of like random sort of henchman type just did not make any sense but I mean the deep look at the hands I mean that I mean you can't really do much pose there's no extra hands of him there's no extra heads of him no different like things you can do with him because to be honest that's what you want you want him to be like this big hulking menacing presence that sort of look, you want to look like a guy that physically could beat up Batman. Sorry about that, my son has just woke up, so he's now with me. But there we go. Not much more I can say about this, really, except for the detail is immense. The look of the character is immense. It is literally right out of the comic book. I mean, it's quite close to it. It's not perfect to the comic book, but it's, it's a good version of it. It's, I mean, the mask is right to me. That's how the mask should be. The venom tubes, I like that. Because the venom is what gives Bane his strength. It's like the, what they did to him in the hospital. Genetic, like, it's like, taps into his, like, genetic strengths. And, like, it's like a super steroid, really. But that's what he takes, and it sort of makes him extra strong. Not that he needs it, because he's already a skilled fighter and super strong anyway. But, yeah, he takes that, and it, like, enhances him, like, like a steroid would. And that's how he breaks Batman. So there he is there, and I'll put him next to... Uh, another multiverse figure to see the size difference i mean look at that i mean that's feet to feet there there you go look at that that is insane he's a huge figure but then bane's a huge thing after the experiments i said it made him super so he's he's a neck he's a bigger guy but that is good i mean i'm going to try and get the pose down like i'm going to actually buy a different batman figure there's a different batman figure i've seen 
in the multiverse range. It's from the Free Jokers set, which I like the look of, and I think it would look really good next to him. I'm going to try and do the pose where he sort of like breaks Batman. Again, if you've read the comic, you'll know the pose I'm talking about. There's that famous sort of like, like cell in the scary looking knife. That's what you used to unbox it with. Uh, yeah, that's that's the sort of like the the panel of the comic that sort of like stands out to me is the breaking of Batman. So hopefully, actually I'll show you that here. Hang on. Yeah, so that's the image I'm talking about. So now obviously we see that and. That's what I'm going to try and recreate when I sort of uh, pose and display him. But um, yeah, um, I hope you like this little video. So I don't do many, many unboxing videos. I've done a couple. But um, yeah. So there he is now with the rest of the McFarlane collection. I'll zoom back, you'll see it. There's a few other things in there as well. So my little action figure shelf, my childhood memory sort of shelf. But yeah, there he is. But there it looks like he's about to murder the Ninja Turtles. That looks pretty good there. But I said I'm going to pose him and change him and such and such. Where's yeah. Bat? Yeah. Bat, Bat. Yeah, Batman. Yeah, you like Batman, don't you? Yeah, There's Superman. Yeah, there's Superman. Now, who else can you see? Yeah, there's, there's Bane. Yeah, there he is. Bat, Bat. Yeah, that's Superman up there. Yep. Yeah. Tiger. Yeah, there's a tiger. Where, where? Yeah, there's, there's the Skeletor. What else do you like? Wake a picture of you, okay. <laughs> As you can see, he's awake. So yeah, we've, um, there he is, in all his glory. Good old Batman. So, and I hope you guys have a good new year. This is, for me, it's New Year's Day. And um, we'll see you in the new year for more unboxing his stuff. This is very early in the morning. I've woke up very morning to do this. I tried to get before he woke up, but sadly he woke up. You're going to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good new year. See you soon.